Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 48. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. Right, so we are here now for the Class S International Tour. Uh, I think my volume was a little bit too loud on that one. Uh, apologies. Starting off with Circuit de Catalunya. Then Hockenheim Ring, Magello, Indianapolis, Nürburgring, Camino Via de Montserrat. And then finishing off with Infineon. Let's get going. I think mi middle of April, middle of May time frame. I think that sort of how long it's going to take. Oh my gosh, I love this car. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Look at the arrow. Okay, this is definitely one of the more beautiful cars that this game has. Imagine finishing the game on the 1st of April and then I'm just like, DLC time, bitches! That would be crazy. One hell of an engine noise. Things are a little unstable towards the rear of the car. It's a little less stable than I remember it being. Sounds like an electric keyboard to me. No, it's a Lexus. It's such a nice car. This is one of the nicest cars. I'd, I'd love to own one. Like, in terms of sheer beauty, it's beautiful. Whoa! Look at that! Look how cool that looks. interior looks really nice. Oh, Yamaha. Oh, yeah, I get it. Sounds like a kit. Yeah, because Yamaha did the exhaust for this, didn't they? I still find that amazing. The Yamaha do the exhaust. That's quite impressive. You tell me that you have Yamaha toilet paper, I will believe you. <laughs> That's brilliant. Because they did like headphones, 
ones they did. They do a lot of stuff to do with audio, don't they? But it also confuses me that they did like bikes. Just seemed like a random thing to make. Oh yeah, we're gonna make motorbikes. Yeah, they are Sony but more exciting, yeah. I think what I'm gonna do uh, is I'm gonna plan another memberathon because the last memberathon it went all right, but I would I would like for it to go better. I I think what I'm planning on doing is in December to do something similar, having double the amount of time. Oh, I've still got on the channel membership thing. A swimming pool stream. Interesting. I don't know how well that would go down, but... But with Alex, it would be instant ban. Oh, Jesus Christ. No. I, I don't know. I, I think the next memberathon, it's going to be me doing... I think I'm going to have a structure for like three, four days. But I'm going to do similar to what I did this time. So it's going to be a... Every day I stream 16 hours. I'll do four four hour streams. And then I'll, I'll sleep for seven hours. That gives me some time before and after to sort of prepare for sleep, sleep, wake up, ready for the stream. 16 hours of streaming during the day. Wake up, grab a brush and put a little makeup. But yeah, I might I might do double time. I'll I'll work out numbers wise how it's gonna go. Table, 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 table. System of the down is awesome. after this. Fool for you. Fool for you. I would love for Lexus to make a new LFA. I don't see why Lexus went, hey, let's make this awesome looking car called the LFA and never dabble in... Is it a supercar or a borderline hypercar performance? 
Definitely supercar. To just go, oh yeah, by the way, we've made this cool supercar. Yeah, we're not going to make another one. Doesn't matter if it's a financial flop. Realistically speaking, the Bugatti Veyron was a financial flop. And the Chiron only just made back money for VW. It's a luxury exclusive brand that builds a reputation, builds a name for the VW group. They can afford to lose a bit of money here and there on these supercars. For a company like Lexus, which is owned by Toyota, they have money. Toyota is one of the biggest brands in the world. Such a good sounding exhaust. I'll take my rewards. Thank you very much. In the world. Right, here we go. Look at that McLaren there. There's so many good options for cars that I could take. In terms of S-Class supercars, Forza Motorsport 4 did a great job of getting, like, the right cars. Whoop! Not bad. Hockenheim ring. I'd love to see this make a return to Formula 1. This circuit. I'm still contemplating whether I'm going to be doing that F1 series or not. Doing all the F1 games. But I need to find an ideal point to do it. I grow an old one, I can stay young really easily. I'd love to know how to go back a couple of years. Like, there's a whole shit ton of stuff that I just kind of wish that could be reset. Specifically, learning how to drive a car a couple months before I did start learning to drive would have been ideal because then I could have a car right now because COVID hit right as I was about to do my driver's test and then it delayed everything and now insurance is too expensive because everything's inflated beyond reason so See, the issue is, 
that's a possibility in other places. But in the UK, it's illegal to not have any insurance. So... You have to have insurance for at least other drivers. So that if you make a mistake, your cover car might not be covered, but other people's will be. Which seems like the most backwards car insurance ever. Both insurance and it must be roadworthy tested. Yeah, so it's the same as the UK, really. But obviously, in the UK, you've got coppers around every corner. They've got automatic number plate and everything. Computers. You can't go more than two miles before you get pulled over for not having insurance. Jaws? No? Uh, Meg. Meg 2. Oh, the license plate flipper thingy. Oh, no, I haven't seen that. <laughs> I love Jason Statham. He's funny as fuck. He's just one of those actors that you're just like, oh, he's a bit of a daft bastard, isn't he? Vince Fan isn't plugged in. Oh, great. Fast and Furious is now part of a family. It's all about family. It's all about family. I got to get this message through the press. Since every day I love you less and less. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, 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 ah. He did, but then he didn't. Like, this... Honestly, the Fast and Furious franchise... Here's the issue. I missed Fast 9. And now, when I watched Fast 10, the whole storyline made zero sense. Now, I've watched Fast 4. I've watched Fast 6. I've then watched Fast 5. I've watched Fast 3, I've watched them all out of order, but I've been able to piece together and it sort of makes sense. 7 was a little bit of a jump to the past, and then all of a sudden, ah. So it made us sort of shuffle around the years that actual films were made. Sort of, it made you think, oh, well, maybe this one was in the future or something like that. It brought you back. But then beyond that, everything's just been so fucking confusing, and it's like, well, what the f Okay. Yes, boss, I, I guess that's how it works now. So confusing. S-O-S-A-O! Yeah.
I think it was like two or three characters that were supposedly dead that they revive. I was like, what? Yeah, that, that whole section on the dam, just, I don't even fucking know. Like that, it was nuts. Beat the best time. Let's fucking go. By smashing a throttle, Vin overcame the gravity and created his own. He's got his own gravity machine. He must be arrested. I'm not gonna lie. I'm starting to really like the appeal of Skodas, which I think is kind of oh shit. Ah! I wasn't paying attention. Oh no. Yeah, I'm, re I'm really liking the look of Skodas. Um, both the older and the newer ones. I think they look quite nice. Um... Some I've been playing so much Clone Hero and, um... What's it called? Both the drums and the guitar lately. It's unbelievable the amount I've been playing. Muscle memory kick in. Uh, what, for the clone hero? Because uh, clone, clone hero has been so much fun. Yeah. I mean, I've been getting a lot better. Obviously, I've only been playing it for about three days now. And I'm starting to get my rhythm back. Like, I was playing um, some of Mice and Men's songs earlier, which was like really difficult, challenging riffs. I was absolutely storming through it. It was so much fun. Uh, so, really, all you've got to do is, as long as Steam is open, if you open Steam, plug in any controller, Steam normally converts it. If you're plugging in a PlayStation controller, you might need to download a software called DS for Windows. Um, and that's for, like, converting PS3, PS4, and PS5 controllers. Um, if it's an Xbox controller, m more than unlikely, you should just be able to press the buttons. Like, you click on controller, click on the button you want. Like, say, for example, you want A to be the left trigger. Like, the green to be the left trigger. Then you just click green, click the left trigger, and it should do it. Um, other than that, yeah, you might need to get some software that converts it into a 360 controller. Makes it a little bit easier to detect. I did not press any home button. Hmm. 
you didn't press it. Home button pressed you. I'm very pressed about this situation. Way, that's a funny one. Oh my gosh, I'm on the steering like a bitch. Gift that she gift compressed. Mech has been compressionized. Release compressed mech. He's depressed, mech. <laughs> That's amazing. Mech is depressed. Of the Stone Age. Get out, get out. Oh, that sounds so good. Literal goosebumps. Don't get too excited, soon you'll have to say bye to it. Why'd you have to remind me about that? why do you remind me about that? Why? Now I am sad, man. Now I am actually depressed, man. <laughs> oh, that's great. There we go. Lovely. That's the point. Wow. Unbelievable. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day has been ruined. You've never met someone like me. My heart has teeth. My heart has teeth. My heart has teeth, my heart has teeth, now isn't it so bittersweet? Ready, ready, ready? Oh! Dropping those gears in this car is just, oh my god. This is the one car that I find so exciting. It's great. My heart has teeth. No, get it right, this is a Yaris. This is a glorified Yaris. <laughs> That's brilliant. My heart has teeth. Imagine the Yaris with a V10.
I've just noticed that the edges start going uh, greyed out as you get to the higher speeds. I wouldn't put a Ferrari engine in a Toyota for the legal and safe measures. So I think this is this is officially the best sounding V10 in the world. No V10, even Lamborghinis with the Huracans and whatnot. Like the Huracan sounds great, but it just cannot beat the sound of the LFA. And I think it is all down to the exhaust. I also still find it kind of crazy that the Dodge Viper is a V10 as well. I always thought it would be like this muscly V8 kind of car. No, it's a V10. Gen Viper was a suicide machine now. That thing was mental. The Viper in general is mental, to be honest. The engine was a crumple zone. Bloody hell. No. Oh. <laughs> this sounds so good. Holy shit. That sounds so good. I prefer no power steering feel though. You feel more of the road. Yeah, I, w I will agree with that. And obviously when it comes to like sim racing, you get like a no power steering feel to your car. But I would like power steering. I just feel like I want to be able to skirt around corners. Alright, fine. I'll cut the corner then. If you're going to push me off. Yeah, power steering's a comfy. Oh... Literal goosebumps. This is going to go really quick around this track, though. Super massive. Whoa! <laughs> I understand it like a bitch that. I think we are actually supposed to cut that corner. I think the game allows us to cut that corner, which seems a little bit forked. Flexing. Bone and muscle. Hey. to give a shout out to and shout out I can't say the word I'll get banned <laughs> I, w I will get absolutely roasted I came I saw oh 
Oh shit. Expand, conquer. I came, I saw, I came, I saw, I praise the Lord, then break the law. I take what's mine, then take some more. It rains, it pours, it rains, it pours. I came, I saw, I came, I saw, I praise the Lord, and break the law. Shit. I want to get a lap where I can, like, fully experience and see how fast this fucking thing goes. Not bad. Holy shit! That's quick. What snack have you got, Heinz? I'm gonna judge your s choice of snack. Chocolate yogurt. How oh, do you know what? No, no, I can't fault that. Do you know what I really like? So, uh, Cadbury's do these, like... They're like Muller Corners. Uh, if you don't know what a Muller Corner is, it's basically a tub of yoghurt. It's like this square pot of yoghurt, but the corner is cut off, and in its place, in the corner, is another tub of, like, fruit sauce or something that you can either dip your yoghurt in, you can mix it in, you can do whatever you want, but you've got, like... A tub of like fruit sauce to go with your yogurt. Cadbury's have their own one, but it's got like Cadbury's fudge pieces, you've got um, chocolate buttons, and you can just dump them into the chocolate yogurt, and you've just got this really like chocolatey, fudgy mess of diabetes. It's so good. I'm not even kidding, the other day I went through uh, a four pack of Cadbury's cream egg chocolate yogurts. Yeah, in the UK we have Cadbury's, because Cadbury's is like the British chocolate brand. Like, our main chocolate brand is Cadbury's. Um, I know another main one in the UK is the Mars brand, but that is sort of a little more spread out towards like the UK, America, other places. Um, but they're quite a main, quite a popular UK brand is the Mars brand as well. But Cadbury's is like British chocolate. It's been known like, it's just so good. It's so good. This time. 
What the fuck? How the hell was that class as a clean lap compared to the other ones? I'm not gonna lie, the interior camera of Forza Motorsport actually feels a lot better than a lot of the other ones. Oh no, I'm hungry all the time, so I'm probably gonna cook up some chicken things. Other than 30 degree steering, I have no complaints either. Yeah, the, the uh, steering angle is a little bit off-putting. But that was off-putting in the crew as well. However, the crew, the new, uh, the crew Motorfest, the only reason I haven't bought it is because it's not available on Steam. And I don't want to go through the hassle. A, it's not available on Steam Deck. B, I don't have... FM8 finally have 360 degrees. That is good to see. I did see that. Um, but yeah, I just I don't have the urge to play the crew. And the issue is I can't play it on the Steam Deck. So I'm in a bit of a pickle. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.